Before we get started, though, it's time for a check of the day's top stories. That's right. Eyewitness News anchor Nick Toma in the studio now with today's headlines. Hi, and Nick. happy birthday, Kelly. We'll belated. Oh, sorry, maybe they can't hear me. Let's get to the headlines. More fallout today from the explosive grand jury report last week naming 300 predator priests in Pennsylvania, including some in the Scranton Diocese. Now, Pope Francis today said the church abandoned the little ones. The president of SNAP, that's the survivors network of those abused by priests, says apologies are meaningless without action. And that group is now encouraging bishops who helped to cover up the abuse to submit their resignations. Now, what legal rights do victims have in light of the state grand jury report? We'll try to answer that question coming up tonight at 5 and 6. A reward now being offered in the case of a missing Luzerne County man, Bill Morse from Sugarloaf Township, has been missing since June 11th. Morse's best friend believes that he is the victim of foul play, and he's offering to pay up to $10,000 for information that could help find his friend and find those responsible for his disappearance. The 59-year-old was last seen at his home on Hollow Road in Sugarloaf Township the afternoon of June 11th. And a sewer repair project has started on a road it shut down in Luzerne County. A section of North River Street in Wilkesbury closed earlier this morning. The street shut down from Maple Street to Courtright Avenue. Some one-way streets intersecting with North River Street will become two-way traffic patterns. And the project is expected to last six to eight weeks. Keep that in mind if you're headed to that area. Our chief meteorologist Josh Riddell standing by with a check on the forecast. Really, for a Monday, it wasn't all that bad today. Not too bad. And I noticed the sign said six weeks. Right. I'm holding them to it. Right. <laughs> It's six in parentheses, maybe two more. Maybe two more, yeah. No, 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 no. The sign says six weeks. Uh, you know, a lot of us use that way to get into work. I know, right? Me too, yeah. All right. In the meantime, we have uh, some pretty nice weather here uh, this afternoon, but that's going to change tomorrow. Let me show you what we have going on in South Williamsport this evening for the Little League World Series uh, uh, games. I think things look pretty nice. Uh, humidity stays in check. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Kind of like the Goldilocks forecast. 77 in Wilkesbury and Scranton. 73 Hazelton. Near 80 in Williamsport right now. And over the next several hours, we'll see temperatures in the low and mid 70s. I think it's kind of pleasant. Although we're not going to see loads of sunshine and we're not going to see loads of sunshine tomorrow either. Clouds around first thing in the morning by about lunchtime. Notice the bulk of the rain will be across central and uh, northern Pennsylvania. And then things start to bubble up a little bit more later tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening. Uh, we have a potent system coming in. Uh, the biggest threats from any thunderstorms that you get on Tuesday. Heavy rain again. The wind may be gusty and there could be some smaller hailstones in the mix. Things will start to quiet down by Wednesday. Here's your eyewitness weather forecast tonight. Warm and more humid and clouds will really kind of just thicken up. They already are, so it's just going to turn out mostly cloudy. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy and muggy. Scattered showers and storms, not the warmest day we've ever had, but it's it's going to be humid and 76. And it looks like if you are looking for some extended weather where we may actually dry out and see some sun, it may actually be in the extended forecast at five. I'll see you both then. <laughs> now, okay, Josh, hold on one all. second here. I, I just want to call <laughs> Kelly out. I, I think she's a little bit of a birthday diva because no, I'm not. Nick <laughs> wished her happy birthday and she didn't even respond. No. Okay, what yeah. happened was my earpiece came unplugged and I'm like, he's probably not saying anything. I'll fix it during the news update. Sure enough, he wishes me a happy birthday and I look like the biggest jerk of all time. So I'm really sorry, Nick. If you're still watching, I feel really bad about what just happened. Technical, <laughs> Technical problems. issues. I'm really not that rude, I promise. And you know what, Josh, as we know, 99% of the time, the viewers don't really notice these things when they right. happen. Oh, but they probably did. We're sitting here, and I'm wondering, I'm like, Kelly is not responding to Nick's <laughs> birthday wish. I'm like, what is wrong with her? I was waiting for you to say it. Well, on behalf of Kelly, yeah. thanks, Nick. You know what? And I saw him talking and them not going to videos, so I'm like, I'm really hoping he's not saying anything to right. me because I can't hear him, and here we and are. And here I am. I I'm just not sure why she's not responding, so I'm like, maybe there's a little beef here we don't know about. Oh, or, you know, but. of course not. Nope, just uh, my IFB came unplugged. So. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that to Nick. <laughs> well, I'm glad you can hear things now. I can hear you, Josh, so that's what matters, right? Well, for 
now, yes, yes, until the next instance happens, and then we'll yeah. go from there. When she doesn't like your forecast, Josh, you won't <laughs> yeah, hear it. I just won't respond. Yeah. <laughs> so it's stone face, staring right. straight forward. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, thanks, All right. Josh. All right, I'll see you guys. <laughs> so it was my birthday over the weekend, and like I said, we were supposed to go to Dorney Park. Things didn't work out, you know, because of my husband's sure. job and everything, but that was okay. We actually have a picture. Uh, that's me with my parents' dog, Haley, and believe it or not, she actually has the same birthday as me, so she turned 10, I turned 29, she was born on my 19th birthday, so that's pretty cool. So isn't she so, so cute? <laughs> See, now you didn't get to go to Dorney Park, no. but you have a special moment with Haley the dog. Right, so that's just as good, right? Maybe even better, so she's so sweet. So happy 10th birthday to Haley. Well, I'm glad you had a good birthday weekend, <laughs> I did, Kelly. thank you. And a very special day for the Eyewitness Weather Team. We were honored today for the accurate forecast, let's say the most accurate forecast, the last 10 consecutive years by a group called Weather Rate. They're an independent company that verifies local forecasts and they check them to see uh, who's right and who's wrong. And luckily, we're wrong the least, meaning we're the most <laughs> accurate, at least according to them. And uh, we celebrated today with some pizza, a cake, and a nice uh, plaque there that Christina has. And uh, good to uh, to get that today. It's kind of nice to know that people recognize you when you put a lot of work in and, and well, feel that we do our best at making an accurate That's forecast. a great achievement, and you guys always do such a good job, so you deserve it. All right, thank you, Kelly. And the cake was really good, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we kind of doubled that as your birthday cake. <laughs> yeah, hey, Because I'm works. still scraping for a gift here for hey, you. Hey, as long as the cake tasted good, that's all that matters to me. Absolutely. <laughs>